Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Lay of Lord of the Rings. This is Deadman1010. And uh, we are now going to be back on the 100% guide. So, uh, so we're basically going to be now on uh, part 3 of 3 of uh, part 5 for Armin Hen. Because uh, we didn't exactly finish the uh, level off because we needed some uh, treasure troves such as... The uh, one of these, which of course are the arrows, and then what else did we need? Oh yeah, we needed uh, we need this axe as well. So now that we've got all of that, we can uh, now go back onto the level of Arm and Hen and uh, basically complete it. So here we go. Uh, who do I want to be? Despite being Frodo would be fine, because it's not like we're going to be able to switch into anybody, because if you remember from the other two episodes that that were on this level doing the mini kits and all that, you would obviously know that the last remaining items I need to obviously show you would of course be within uh, the Frodo section of the level, where of course you need all those treasure troves in order to get that part of the level done in terms of running percented with all the mini kits and such. So here we go. Right, let's just wait for this to, of course, load up, because, obviously, we, uh, well, obviously, we need to wait for it to load up. There we go. So, here we are. We need to, uh, turn on our, uh, studs. There we go. Let's get a rock and throw out this little tree bit here. Right, uh, is there any arrow bits we want to destroy here? Yay or nay? Okay, it's nay. Cool. So basically what we need to do now is go across here and then we can uh, find some stuff. Right, here we go. Uh, I s oh, here's a... Uh, here was an arrow bit there. Right. Well, uh, we'll get one of our arrows out. We'll go with the ice bow because... Uh, that will seem like the simplest one to use out of the out of the lot. So here we go. Right now we need to go across here. Right. Uh, so there's one out of six of those. So we're almost there. Right. And then we want... Uh, right. Okay. We need our sword. It's pretty clear that we need that. And apparently a little bit more things as well. Because I don't believe we can actually target this thing yet. Yeah, we need to take this down first. Right. Oh uh, no! Go away! Actually, what would happen if I just let him uh, 
I'd say you will just punch me, okay. It was all because of that stud though. That's the reason why that happened. Ah, here we go. Okay. I was just checking there uh, for uh, anything. There wasn't actually a mini kit point, guys, because we've already uh, we've already uh, gone through that bit of the level. So we just simply uh, carry on and make sure that we aren't missing any arrow targets. Basically, that's what we really keep on doing. Okay. Boom! That's two out of six. Right, let's break all that. Because what we want to do is we want to make sure uh, we're taking these down. Right. Right, that's everything. Bingo. That is that. So. So now what we need to do is we need to go around here. And, uh, there we go. Can kind of put this on top of here, couldn't we? I don't know, but I won't mind trying. Okay, we can't. Okay. Then what we can do is we can, uh, Oh, we can actually do this. Okay. We need our sword or this isn't going to work. There you go. Right, so we needed an, an arrow for this, didn't we? There you go. Oh god, we just killed Frodo. Uh, I guess this is kind of going to be our ninth of any kit, isn't it? Because we also needed the bow and arrow for this. Didn't we? So this is really going to be our ninth of any kit in this level. Kind of, in a matter of speaking. So here we are. There you go. So I was right. It was our uh, ninth mini kit. So uh, without further ado, let's get it. Sounds like a plan. Don't know why it says 10 out of 10 there. So that's that. So it's just going to say 10 out of 10 there still. But obviously, if it were somehow glitched, then it would have said it 11 out of 10. But for us, it's going to say 9 out of 10. Just keep that in mind, guys. It's confusing, but I just wanted you to keep that in mind. So there we go. Right. So that is that. So I just hope that obviously uh, we haven't missed any uh, we haven't missed any of the arrow points up to this point. Get it up to this point. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully we've not missed any yet. So here we go. But I suppose if we have, we can always go back and get it, couldn't we? It's no big deal. So, uh, right, let's go up here. Really, dude? 
Right, thank you. Just leave us be, dude. Right. That's that one. So we're doing good. And then we want to throw this. So here we go. Right. So what's going to happen now is you're going to need the mithril rope, which we already had uh, when we tried to do this, but we didn't have that mithril axe thing, if you uh, remember from our last episode of the 100% guide, guide, but now obviously we do, so we're going to be able to do this thing. Right, uh, okay, it's nowhere around here any of these are, so we're more than uh, capable in uh, getting this down. There we go. So uh, here's where basically the uh, stop sign is, Gandalf's stop sign, which we needed for a uh, actual bit in the free roam world, so now we have it. And that's three out of three of uh, the treasure troves, which is uh, excellent. So uh, we need to check whether or not we've obviously uh, got all of these. So, uh, any more bow and arrow bits? But, you know, still have uh, targets on them. I don't think I've missed any other. I don't remember me missing any. Okay. So now we've gotten ourselves into a bit of a kerfuffle. There you go, we've gotten ourselves out of it. There's that bow and arrow one. So I think that's the first one that we bumped into, correct? Uh, yeah, it looks to be. So we haven't missed any up to this point. So that's good. So let's go back around here. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's go around here. And then we're going to go back around here. Let's break all of these. Yeah, that's all we could break there, isn't it? Go back here. And then we'll go around here. Or here. Hold on me. So here we go. So now we're over here. So I think we've actually gotten all the bow and arrow bits in this area. So we're actually good to move forward here. So here we go. Right. There we go. There goes Frodo's sword. Right, that is that. So now we just beat up four of those. Right. Okay, so there's none there, that's cool. So we've already attacked that one. So, uh, I think we're free to just uh, go across here, really. Sounds about right to me. So, here we go. And then we're uh, going to use a uh, elf to jump up here. Okay, there's nothing there. Right, we're going to need Gimli if we want to go through this thing, because I don't think doing this is going to work. Yeah, it isn't. Yeah, let's use this guy now. can't remember his name. He's like Doyle or something. Yeah, we can use that guy. Right, that was, I believe, 4 out of 6, or 5 out of 6. Point is, we attacked that one, so that's good. 
So now we want to be Legolas. Let's go, Legolas. You got the power. You got the power. There we go. There we go. Gimli help us helping us out here, that's cool. That's what I like to see. Right, now we're gonna go across here and basically push this thing. Uh right. There. Uh let's push that there. Bingo. This is how we do it. There we go. Right, let's uh, axe this thing down. Okay. Actually, we could use our mythical rope, couldn't we? That's a thought. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll go back, and then we'll go back to to uh, to uh, Legolas's uh, bow and arrow because uh, we're going to need that for this and for this uh, next bit. Here we go. Okay, now that I think about it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to uh, do this. So let's use our lighted up thing. Right, there we go. Okay, according to what it's saying here, we didn't actually get that mini kit, but I'm sure we did. Okay, why will this guy not go down? Is this guy impervious to pain or something? Come on, go down, thank you. Jeez, that guy did not want to go down. Bit odd. Right, there we go. Bow and arrow. Actually, we won't need it. There we go. So that's that mini kit. So once obviously we've exited out of here, you'll be able to see the grand total. So we finally got five, I mean three treasure troves, a blacksmith and ten mini kits. Even though technically it already said the blacksmith and ten mini kits before, but that's because A, we already got the blacksmith and then B, I don't know why, the game decided to glitch on me as far as that's concerned, but still, you got to see the final two mini kits and the treasure trove, so that's all that matters. So now let's save and exit. Here we go. There we go, that's the amount of studs that we've got there. And there's the uh, stop sign. And there's the 89 uh, mithril, or 89th mithril brick. And of course it won't show the final two mini kits, because of course we had that happen on like the last episode of the 100% guide or something. And obviously, like I said, we had that little glitch problem because of that and everything. So that's why it isn't showing it there. But it did show the treasure trove, so that's really all that matters. So there you go. So, uh, there. If you guys enjoyed this episode, like, comment, subscribe, share the news, favorite news. It could go up to 20 likes, that would be great. Ciao, guys.